Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, I made this card using a new stamp set. So much love. And it has flower arrangements on it. Three sentiments, you made my day, here for you, and so much love for you, and some dots. And I'm also using the Label Me Bold, which has retired. But I'm still going to be using it because I do like it. And I'll be using the happy birthday, them dots, little heart dots and the stars. I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored and folded in half. Not being burnished this one. As now. I have a piece of white cardstock at five and a quarter, five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. I have a balmy, no, this is not balmy blue. This is seaside spray at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have a piece of white cardstock at five and a half by three and three quarters. And I have a piece of DSP, now retired at uh, 5 and 3 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths for that. Also have a piece of white cardstock at 3 inches by 4 inches and a piece of seaside spray at 3 and 1 eighths by 4 and 1 eighths like that. And that will sit in the middle like that of our card. So first, before we do anything else, I'm going to glue all these bits down because we don't need these to get on with our card. So I can't separate it. this on our seaside spray right so and then we stick this on our card base. We'll also stick this piece down. Like that. Right, so that's our card base all sorted. Put that to one side. And now we'll start with the flower. No, first we need to, on here, I took the corners off. So we need to do that with this one. And to get both sides showing, what I did was got my card both together and click the corners off. Then I moved it so they're both together at the corner and click. So And 
quite tough going through two bits of card. Nice one. Right. So I know which one, which way it goes. I am going to turn it over and just put a T and a T. So I know once it's all coloured, stamped, this will go in the right place. Where it was punched out from. Because when I made my first one, I think I put it like that way around and they don't match up very well. So we now know which way this goes. Like that. So do our stamping now. We know that's the top, so we leave it down like that. We bring in our flower. We also put the lid on the glue. Bring in some scrap because we need to stamp the flower three times. Right, the first time we need it all. So I want, that's it. All right, and we'll just try and get that in the middle and press firmly down. And lift it up. Now then, we want the flower I'm just inking up the flower and stamp that down. That's just got one flower and we need another flower. That's it. And that can go on there. Put the lid on the ink. Right, we're going to colour this in. What we're going to do with our blends, and I've got old olive here light. I'm just going to go around and colour all the leaves in. Did I do them flat? No, I never did them flat. So I don't need to be too precise with the centres.
on my lip. Um, with all the mossy meadow light, I'm sure this is light, it is, I just scribbled in, I didn't go to the edge, I just just did it down the middle of the leaves. and the stems. That's how it's done. Right for the flower, I'm using three colours. I've got soft sea foam, seaside spray, light soft. Start again. Light seaside spray, dark seaside spray. Yeah, and dark balmy blue. So we're gonna take the dark balmy blue. And on the outer leaves, we're just going to do a small line. I don't want it to be straight line. I want it to be like that. that fold and colour that in. Right then with the dark balmy blue, no dark seaside spray we're going to come up but not quite to the top. Again not straight like that. And then with the light seaside spray, we're going to colour it all. And that includes going over part of the leaf that is next to the one you're colouring. Like that. Just so it's all looks like it's been coloured in underneath for when you add the next layer. You 
you've seen me do a flower like this before I thought this new stamp set shouted out for it right then that's that oh no and these I coloured in in seaside spray light Then we took this again and we started off with the second layer. So we want balmy blue. Now the second layer is this one, this one. Uh, yeah, that one. Let me see. Yeah, this one. Not that one. This one. Them ones are all the middle, so it's this one. I'm trying to figure out what I've coloured in. Right, so we've got. Oh, that one. Right, and then on the small one, obviously the ones in the centre. spray dark let me just do And then with the light, we go over the whole thing. I don't think we need the on. We need to colour in what one was it this one? Let's do a bit of colouring in here. Because I'm not cutting out this one.
and then with a dark balmy blue we need to go over our folds not that one this one and That's it. And then with Daffodil Delight, we coloured in the middle. And now we have to sit and cut them out. I know it's not your favourite part. Yeah. This one I'm actually cutting on the lines. Right, on the first one I did, I went round the old, the edges with the black pen, you know, like I usually do, and I think it brought it out to black, so I'm not going to bother this time. This time I'm just leaving it as it is. And that will sit on like that. And then we need to cut off this one. There we are. That will go on that one. Set. We never coloured that in, did we? The middle. To hide the whiteness from the when you went when you go to put it on top. So if someone gets nosy, they can see that it was was coloured in. That'd be like that. But first of all, we need to wink a stellarit. I nearly forgot about this. So I'm just going over the flower with wink a stellar. I don't use this enough. Right, that's that one. that 
on. What's that? Very glittery, I must say. Right then, let's put this together. Oh, no. We've still got a bit of stamping to do. So, with Barmy Blue. And our little stars. All we did was, all I did was, went round the outside with some stars. Like that. And then to add a little bit of different colour. I've got blushing bride and with our dots I did the same. Just added some dots here and there. Like that. Just take the plainness behind it all. I don't know if you can see that, can you? Yeah, like that. So, we'll glue this on. And we're going to put dimensionals on the back. I'm going to stick this down an ice cream van outside a little bit more over that way that's it with these I just squished up the ends of the petals just folded them up with my nails and I stuck a dimensional on the back so did I stick two no nope, just one and I stuck this down over the petals it went that's why I coloured in underneath so you, you can see that the flower has been coloured in over the knee underneath right stick that up like that and then this one I actually glued down That's a nice three D flower. All right, now then we need some gems. Uh, 
and we're going to put three down either side of the card. Ow, just stabbed myself with the uh, bokey tool. I knew that would do that. So, and then do three this side. One, I think it's quite pretty. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if, oh, stop, cancel. Didn't put a sentiment on it. Assume remedy that. Got my scrap of card. Got my stamp. And we're going to stamp that just. Turn it over. I think it moved again. this one. Cut that. There we are. And that I'm just gluing down there. So we're getting to put the sentiment on. There. Now then, if you like my card, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you um, press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. I'm just adding some glitter to the buds as an afterthought. I'm quite happy with that now. I'll leave it alone. See you again soon. <laughs>